As we mentioned earlier, Houston is the nation's fourth largest city, and the region is a huge contributor to the nation's energy output. Brian Sullivan is in Galveston with more on Harvey's potential hit to the oil market and Houston's impact on the economy. Along with the unprecedented flooding and humanitarian crisis unfolding in Houston and the lower Texas region, there may be an economic crisis as well, because 15 percent of the oil and gas that is refined in the United States is currently offline, shut down by the flooding as a result of Hurricane Harvey. The Houston area produces more than two million barrels of oil and distilled gasoline every single day, and many of the refineries around here are now shut down, including the second biggest refinery in the United States, the Baytown facility from ExxonMobil. Also, Shell's Deer Park facility is also shut down, and there is no clear word of when those facilities will open. The other hit comes from the port economy. The majority of those refineries lie along the port of Houston, which is actually a series of four different ports, and every ship that comes or goes has to come through a channel right over there. And that ship channel, the busiest in the United States, is currently shut down, and there is no indication of when it opens. In addition, many of the men and women who would work at the refineries, the pipes, the shipping facilities, the offload facilities, and the ports simply cannot or will not get to work because they are facing a much more serious issue. The city of Houston does more than $500 billion per year in gross domestic product. It would make it one of the top 25 nations in terms of economic output. It is the fourth biggest economy in the United States. And while the city grapples with a humanitarian crisis and the rescue of many of its citizens, there is also the future issue of gasoline, oil, and shipping, which is shut down and is so vital to this area and to the United States. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Brian Sullivan in Galveston, Texas.